Hey guys, Austin, and welcome to another episode of Minecraft Pixel on Season 2 here on the channel today. Now, last week's episode was filled with a little bit of disappointment. We were not able to catch the uh, legendary, or find him for that matter, that spawned in the birch forest biome. Now, I did a little bit of research off camera and came to the conclusion that the only legendary that could have spawned in that biome was Genesect. That is correct, the bug legendary Pokemon himself now if i had known i was looking for genesect it would have been a lot easier because even though it was dark out i mean a purple uh robot insect thing would have been pretty easy to spot however i was looking for things like possibly it could have been like i thought it could have been like jirachi or celebi or something tiny so it kind of was weird i also was looking in the air like if i known it was genesect it would have been a whole lot easier that being said guys i want to ask you after seeing two episodes back to back now a legendary spawning we may not have seen them but we know they're spawning now do you want me to decrease the chance of them spawning slightly because now it seems like every episode we're getting a legendary now that may be amazing but when we get to the point where we can actually catch them might be a little bit lackluster if we get a legendary epi every episode, you know what I mean? So, it's up to you guys in the comments if you want me to uh, decrease the spawner or keep it how it is. Now, if I decrease the spawner, it's not going to be anything drastic. It's going to be like a slight decrease, just a tad bit less chance of them spawning. But again, guys, that is completely up to you. That being said, if you guys have been enjoying the content that I'm providing with uh, this Pixelmon series, do hit that like button to show your support. Try this video to 10 likes like every other video this week that I know you guys have hit um that like go on and yeah this being the last video and it being friday i didn't really say it in the previous video but happy friday for those of you in school you know how it feels to be out on friday and for me this is my last actual day of school i believe so that's pretty cool um if you guys have been um with me for a while you know that i'm in college or whatever so this is my this today was my last day of college officially and then the next week or next week in general that is finals week so if you don't know what this is that's essentially like the day that i take all my exams and whatnot so that day is going to be or not that day but that week it's going to be all revolved around like um you know just me taking my uh just exams and getting that done with but that again like school technically you don't have class you just take your exams or go to class and take your exams it's not technically considered a school week i don't know it's weird but yeah that, that's how my schedule is gonna be the, ne the next week but I, I can tell you guys like i'm probably more excited right now than i am recording this video not to like like saying because it's like i record this a week beforehand so like the excitement's not there but just just know that today the excitement is there that being said, though, let's get let's get in today's episode. Today's episode, I want to actually go mining, believe it or not. Yes, I want to finally go mining a little bit and mine up as much iron as I possibly can. And I forget, do I have... Wait, let me just go into the controls really quickly. I feel like I should have it. Yeah, we do have Vein Miner. Okay. So, we're going to have to uh, find a decent place to mine today. I'm literally just going to do what I always do and dig straight downward. But uh, our goal is iron. Our primary target goal is to get iron and if we get anything else that's cool if we find anything underground while we're mining like pokemon wise that'd be pretty cool try to catch one of those uh one of those cave pokemon you know we might even run into an unknown they're known to live in like the underground areas uh of the places you know what actually let let's guarantee oh wait i forgot we lost all our waypoints rip i completely forgot about that that's right we lost all our waypoints dang that sucks Hmm. Well, I guess we gotta refind our forest or a yeah our desert hills biome. We're up in pieces. Uh. So wait then. I mean, I could teleport to the jungle biome, but that's too far. I don't want to load any more chunks today, really. So let's just um continue on with our journey. Now we just gotta fly up this dang uh water waterfall right here. Um. I am going to probably try fighting the legendary boss again, uh, Goku Black, you know, the man who does not let me beat him regardless of what I do because he's a god. Uh, I've got to just, uh, like, my Pokemon are getting there, you guys. You know, they're leveling up over time. They will achieve perfection eventually. Uh, now that being said, I'm really hoping we don't get a legendary spawning. You know what I'm also going to do? Mine up some coal right now. Just because, um, I'm kind of low-key thinking... There's a chance that we're going to be low on coal soon. So I just want to get some right there. Hey, we hit level 32. Perfect. Like level 30 T-O-O, -O, not you guys know. Um, 
I think this dark oak forest is actually gonna be the perfect place to dig straight downward. And I don't know. It's just something about it. Now, what legendary spawn in the dark oak forest? I think one of my favorite spawns here, but I completely forget. I swear, Giratina spawns here. I feel like he does. I think remembering correctly that that this is the biome that he spawns in. I'm not entirely sure. Just so you guys know, if a legendary does spawn, we're underground. There is gonna be little hope of us actually getting him. I know, and oh, we're entering darkness. If any of you say I should be mining with torches, listen, I normally just mi have gamma turned on, but I don't have my gamma turned on today, so I apologize. If you don't like this sudden shift in darkness, then, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Nothing much I can do about it, really. Is this my first time grabbing andesite? Or whichever one I just grabbed right there? I just saw the thing coming up saying new recipes. Like, are you serious? I've never got that before. And also, where's the iron? Where's the caves and where's the... Oh, right, I have a mini-map. I was going to say, where is everything? I completely forgot I have a mini-map. And I've been playing so much of... what Well, not so much, but like... Uh, normally, my, last time I mined in Minecraft, I think it was in my Minecraft War season. So I'm a little paranoid right now and I really don't have to be. Because, like, I can't die. There's no mobs here. Uh, are we on peace or are we on... No, we're on easy. That's right. I locked in easy mode. All right, well... Uh, I mean, there's coal everywhere, but we do need iron. That's what we're here for, and that's what we're going to grab. And I hit the wrong button to vein mine. There we go. Uh, I could mine other materials, too. I mean, I might as well, since I'm here, just to get them. But our primary purpose is, I mean, if we find diamonds, that's also something we need, because we need to re be able to replenish our uh, diamond materials as well, because this pickaxe is going to break soon. As you guys can probably tell. Unfortunately, we're not going to find much food underneath here unless we happen upon, like, an actual, like, uh, what's it called? Mineshaft? Which I'm not really expecting us to. There we go. Let's grab up that. Grab up that. There's some sapphires. Um, now, I actually don't know what noise unknown make in Pokemon, so, like, yeah, I can hear Diglett, but, like, if an unknown was making a noise, I wouldn't be able to identify that. You know what? Why not? Let's let's see if we can. Uh, I was gonna try capturing him, but I mean, I'll take the death also. Uh, that's fine. Anything to stop it from talking. I'm sorry. Diglett's noise annoys me in Pokemon. Diglett dig, Diglett dig, Diglett dig. It it just bothers me. The high pitchedness of it also kind of bothers me, but it's fine. Oh, now I hear Doug Trio. <laughs> no. I mean, it's fine. I'm just happy we're finding so much iron. I mean, I should expect it. Like, regular mines have, like, a lot of iron, but still. Not to say vein miner is amazing and should be put into vanilla Minecraft. I know it's not very practical, but still. Like, it works very efficiently and does its job. It's just, like, it's not realistic. In real life, you don't break a block. At, uh, break a block. Yes, you don't break a block. <laughs> in real life, you don't dig a hole with a shovel by digging once, and then all of a sudden, the rest of the, the hole just forms. Like, that's not how it works. So I think that's bauxite. I mean, I'll take some more bauxite. We could always use some more of that, too. It's been a, a while since we've mined. And look at our materials. Almost a stack already. That's awesome. That's also another reason why I was kind of gathering up some coal, is because, like... All these materials have to be smelted somehow, you know? Um, another thing I want to do soon is make the auto uh, automatic, like, Pokeball machine thing. The, uh, here, let me... Oh, I don't have my non fimes pulled up. Uh, it's the... I forget what it's called. It's called, like, a forge. Some type of forge, I think, maybe. I might be wrong about that. Um, but yeah, that we need to make soon. Here, I'm just going to grab the, the coal. Also, the perfect thing about vein mining coal is it always displays more ore once you mine the coal up, which is pretty funny. Um, and again, I do apologize if it is too dark for you guys right now. There's nothing I can do really right here other than craft torches, which I don't have wood for. So, hey, it's a clink. You know what? Let's try to capture the clink. Never mind. We can kill it. Drop us an ironing. Why not? Um, and also, there's a lot of experience gained whenever you can vein mine the... Uh, the whole patch of iron or coal. Ooh, hello there. I forget your name. But uh I'm gonna try to capture you if that's okay. Oh, Boldor. I I, I was gonna say Boldor. Oh wait, I killed it. Man, I'm just killing things left and right today, aren't I? I thought its name was Boldor. Um I didn't want to say it and be wrong. But I was right. So <gasps> Mawile. 
I didn't think you spawned down here. You know what? I'm learning from my mistakes. Quick ball, go. Come on, Mobile. Dang, it broke free. Oh, also, this is going to be a slightly shorter episode than normal just because we are literally uh, mining. Why is, it, why is that uh, ground time is super effective? Why are ground time is super effective to everything down here right now? Like, I'm not even meaning to be super effective and I'm being super effective. Uh... Oh, this is going to be a huge vein. Yeah, give me that coal. But, uh, where was I go going with that before I said anything? <laughs> before I literally killed everything, what was I saying? Oh, see, there we go. We revealed some gold. Perfect. Did I even grab it? <laughs> walks away before even grabbing the material. It's like, hey, we found diamonds. So walks away, doesn't mine it. Uh, let's grab up some of that. Oh, that was pretty deep hole. For a second there, I thought at least. Uh, redstone we don't need, but I'll grab a patch anyway. Uh, grab up you. Let's grab some of you. Okay, we're lagging a little bit. I don't know if that means because we're in like a new... Uh, are we in like a new chunk now or something? Not sure. Okay, there we go. Fix itself. Yeah, I, I reinstalled Optifine. I say that and then it freezes. <laughs> I reinstalled Optifine to uh, try to fix the... Uh, the, the lag spikes and whatnot with the uh, Pixelmon mod, and it seems to have helped a little bit. Um, I don't know if you guys noticed, but when we were doing our two Pixelmon versus mode episodes this week, the lag was, I wasn't going to say anything because I didn't want to jinx it, but the lag was uh, very non-existent, which is a very good thing. Um, helped out a, a lot. But it seems like at any point in time I'm loading in new chunks, the game's just going to lag regardless. Oh no, my pickaxe! Well, I guess we have to head home now. My pickaxe just broke. Rip. All right, let's head home. Teleport. Okay. Also, every time you teleport, it lags because, of course, you do have to spawn in, like, everything. And, of course, all this coal can now be thrown in there, which is awesome. Oh, I forgot this is full. Um... So do we have any gold yet that we can upgrade? No, we have to wait until it smelts it, but then we can upgrade our storage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, redstone, shove that there. Uh, there we go, one, two, three. And one, two. And dive war. Okay, I guess we got that achievement now, or advancement. Bam. Let's uh, enchant that a little bit enchant that i don't have a little 30 enchantment table but i mean hey this this works efficiency one good enough and then we got our enchanter advancement perfect uh if i go to advances i'm actually curious if i go to the pokemon one what have we done so far catch a pokemon with a dust ball that's all we've done okay perfect <laughs> that's awesome but uh all right we got that achievement down or advancement while that's all cooking up let's actually head out here and take on the uh trainer goku black's gym yeah and remember guys uh well not remember but i did say beforehand that i would be updating and adding more gyms to this uh this world um in the summer so that being a week away now practically yeah don't worry i'll uh, I'll be getting around to things. You will start noticing the promises that I've made several months ago starting to be implemented. If I like, I have a list of things I have to do, and then there's even more things in my head that I have to remember to do. It's just insane. But let's take on Goku Black, and I'm not expecting a win, but let, let's try our hardest. One thing we do need to do is get Swamp Art some better moves, because he only, like, Taco and Echoed Voice are, nah, we need better stuff. But let's start out with a, a Mud Bomb on Lippard. And then let's go with a Confuse Ray on Mudsdale. And they will always target Phantom first, which is super sad. And then he uses high horsepower to affect Swampert. And I just accidentally clicked, I think, the wrong thing. No, Riolo, I didn't even click you yet, but my Charizard's here. So let's see what we can do here. Let's go with a Force Palm on Leopard. And Charizard go with a Dragon Rage on Leopard. So Riolo gets hit and dies instantly. Dragon Rage hits. Doesn't affect Charizard. Ooh, he he tried something that doesn't affect my Charizard. I thought he knew. He's an advanced uh -huh. boss. How does he not know what affects and what doesn't affect anyway? Confusion on Leopard. Dragon Rage on Mudsdale this time around. Let's try. Mm -hmm. All right. 
I'm hoping he does that move that... Oh, no. High horsepower killed... Oh, where am I Okay, I thought it was Charizard for a second. Pupitar, you're up. Charizard and Pupitar. So let's go with Dark Pulse on Leopard, even though it is... Oh, wait. He's a Dark type. I just forgot about that. Ah, Pupitar, but he lived, though. Dragon Rage hits. And Pupitar being down. We're left with just Charizard. Go with Dragon Rage on Leopard. Mudsdale swaps out to Parasect. Okay. But Leopard has died and fainted. He swaps out to Cray Dilly. So... I'm realizing something. He's trying to use ground type moves on Charizard, which isn't working right now because Charizard's flying type. So now he has to resort to swapping. So let's go with Fire Fang on Parasect. Acid. Oh, but I survived of a cross poison. Okay. Fair enough, though. That was a uh, pretty intense battle. I mean, we lost, but we learned something. If I lead off with Charizard he tries to target charizard because he's a higher level or whatever like he was doing except it's not effective so it's actually pretty cool i like that i like that a lot and uh because that was the case i think i'm going to swap the rocky helmet to charizard now because he was trying to attack him with physical attacks and i want to just make sure we have that on lockdown also i'm gonna get rid of oh wait no no, no. i know what we have to do we don't need to do that. We just need to smelt the cobblestone. There we go. Okay. Now that's taken care of. Perfect. So next episode, guys, we are going to have the uh, our materials that we could possibly need and or want in terms of iron or whatever, which is perfect. Um, I am going to be ending off the video here. I was just going outside really quick to check something. But let's spawn in all our Pokemon to end it right off. We haven't done this in a while. So let's get all of our guys in here. They can all fit, that is. Dang, we have such a huge family now. They're all super giant, too. Once we get Tyrantar, we're not going to be able to fit anything. And remember, guys, if you ever want me to swap out this team or any of the Pokemon for another in my PC, just let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely do so. But thank you all for watching. If you guys did enjoy, click that like button. Share support. Remember, we're trying to go for 10 likes. Oh, you just had to do this to me, didn't you? All right. Where is it? Where is it? Actually, wait a minute. We have Charizard now. Wait. Wait. How do I get into third person? That is not how you get into third person. Oh, my God. Oh. oh. Wait. Okay. Uh, let's go. That's Axe you. Um... Where I know it has to be here. There's no other place. This is the Extreme Hills biome. Is that it? That's it, isn't it? Yeah. So the thing had to spawn in the river biome. You are. I thought you also spawned at level 70. Why are you level 50? Anyway, starting things off with a. I'm gonna do the thing where you uh quick ball it and then run. No, Brook free melee. All right, run. Couldn't escape. Run, 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 run. How can I not? Oh, he's level 50 and I'm level 45. Escaped. Okay, perfect. Enter battle again. Wait, come here. Come here. No, don't do this. Get there. Quick ball. Quick ball is the... Oh my god, he didn't sling Brook free. Teeter dance. You know what? We're going with it. Mud bomb. Okay. Mud bomb again. Oh, I'm asleep. Ah, uh, well, this is awkward. Mud bomb. All right, you'll wake back up. I know. Doesn't it? Doesn't it Miloetta only come with like a base of a few good moves? I don't think it can know that many moves. All right, let's go with Echoed Voice. If he breaks free, up Echoed Voice hits. Why am I healing? Oh, I have. Don't I have a leftovers on him? I was like, wait, why am I healing here? Um. All right, I woke up. Let's go with a mud slap. I'm like barely damaging him, which is a good thing. I forget what type Miloetta is. I know it's psychic something. It might be psychic normal. Oh my gosh, this thing is just determined to put me to sleep. Oh, that hurt. All right, everybody, woke up. Come on. Nope, he killed him. All right, Phantom, you're up. Oh, that's right. You're, all your attacks are meant to kill. Oh, crap. We have to use faint attack. Okay, that's perfect. Pokeballs, dust ball, go. It's nighttime. We can catch this thing. Broke free immediately. All right, dust ball again. Crap, I don't have a uh, false swipe on me right now. I'm going to keep trying, though. 
I don't know his catch rate, though. I don't know if he's on the higher or lower end of the legendaries. Can't be the worst thing to catch, right? He might be, though. If I hit him one more time, I'm scared I'm going to kill it. I'm scared I'm going to kill this thing. Come on. Come on. No. Ugh. And, of course, this had to happen right when I was outroing the video. Doesn't matter. This is amazing. So remember what I said, guys, about commenting down below if you want me to change the legendary spawner to be slightly more rare than what it is right now? Because one an episode seems a tiny bit excessive. Excess, what's the word? Excessive? Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. No! It's like shaking three times and breaking free immediately. Come on. Or not immediately, but yeah. Come on, I have a better... I know I can catch legendaries. My Pokemon Go catch rate proves that. I'll take good care of you. I'll put you on my team. Guys, I'm putting the first legendary on my team. I don't care what you say. You're just going to have to come up with a replace with who I'm replacing. Oh, uh, come on. Come on. Uh, I need to hit it one more time. Wait. Pokemon. Lucario. Perfect. No, stop with your teeter dance. Quick attack. Oh, that was so close. But that's actually perfect. Oh, no, it's becoming daytime. No, no, no. Dust Bowl has to work now. I can't switch to Ultra Ball right now. I need to stay night. No. Oh my god, he one-shot that. <laughs> Phantom, you're back up. Oh, I don't think he can hit Phantom, but I think that's the issue. He's trying to use normal type moves on my ghost type. That's what's happening. I don't know why I'm calling it a he. It doesn't have a gender. Um, Come on. No! Dang it! And of course it had to be this one. And I see that Mega Gardevoir in the background taunting him. You guys know my feelings for Miloetta. Like... It needs to stop and get caught. Come on. Yes! I read that wrong for a second. I was, I thought it said, a, I don't know why I thought. Legend, wait for it, Dairy. Yes! I'm going to put that as the title of the video. I'm realizing right now. Guys, we just. It's okay. It's okay, game. I know. I know. That was an amazing feat that just occurred. Game, it's fine. Calm down. Breathe. Take deep breaths. Yes, I know. It's amazing what we just accomplished. Why the heck do I catch this thing and immediately makes my game freeze? <laughs> um, you know, I'm doing the outro since my game's frozen right now. Guys, I hope you did enjoy that amazing legendary catch at the end of it. Remember to hit that like button, like I said, to show your support. And subscribe for more amazing Pixelmon content in the future. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.